It seems like there's at least one dull drill bit in every set. So the question is, why not just buy a drill bit sharpener instead of replacing the entire set? We got a bunch of different sharpeners to test today, so let's see which brand is the best. And the first test, we'll see which sharpener sharpens the fastest. Then we'll see which of the sharpened drill bits drills through half inch mild steel the fastest. Finally, we'll see which drill bit sharpener makes the most durable sharpened drill bit. At a price of $9, the least expensive drill bit sharpener is made by Dapen. To use this sharpener, it does require a drill. Sharpens drill bit sizes 2 to 12.5 millimeters or 13 64ths to a half inch. It claims to be made of high quality ABS plastic. It did not come with a set of instructions, but it seems pretty self explanatory. The day pin is made in China. Tool weight is sometimes an indicator of tool quality, and the day pin weighs 82 grams. Let's compare the drill bit sharpeners using 3 8 inch drill bits, which is about 9.5 millimeters. I purchased 18 new drill bits at the same time and used the same process to drill the drill bits that are being used in the review. I'll use a drill press that has a wheel attached to the lever arms. With 25 pounds of weight on the wheel, that works out to be about 175 pounds of downward force on the twist drill bit. Let's start off with a new drill bit and we'll see how long it takes to drill through half inch mild steel. According to the drill press's drilling speed chart, we should set the 3 8 inch drill bit speed to 600 to 650 RPM. And the new twist drill bit looks great. With around 175 pounds of downward force on the new drill bit, it's making very quick work of the mild steel. And the brand new drill bit drilled through the half inch mild steel in 16.5 seconds. I just finished dulling 8 of the new drill bits by drilling into concrete and they experienced a lot of damage. After being dulled, let's see how the drill bit performs. With 175 pounds of downward force, the drill bit is very dull and it's not making any progress. Let's place the drill in a jig for stability. I'll use a marker on the twist drill bit so we can see where the sharpener has gone to work. I'll place the drill bit into the largest guide. I'll go ahead and slide the drill bit into the sharpening stone. I found that I just couldn't leave the drill bit in a stationary position during the process. I'll go ahead and rotate the drill bit to the left and right just a little to sharpen the entire drill bit cutting lip and to remove some of the flank. And it took very close to three minutes to sharpen the bit. And the drill bit sharpener did remove all of the marker from the tip of the drill bit and the cutting edge looks sharp. However, the overall bit tip geometry just doesn't look right. So let's see how long it takes for the drill bit that's been sharpened by the day pin. And the day pin started off strong but quickly ran out of steam and stopped making progress at around 17 seconds. And the drill bit's geometry was definitely a big problem and it didn't hold up. There's a lot of damage to the drill bit. At a price of $28 is this multi-sharp model 2001. It claims it can sharpen many different types of drill bits. Sharpens drill bit sizes 3 to 13 millimeters. Works with 118 to 135 degree drill bits. To use the multi-sharp you will have to use a drill. And a multi-sharp 2001 is made in London, England. The multi-sharp 2001 weighs 200 38 grams. Secure the sharpener to a flat surface while it's in use. Hold the carriage above the left hand edge of the grinding bed. Hook it under the rear rail and then press it forwards until the catch clicks into position over the front rail. Slide it to the right until it reaches the stop. Hold the turret holder until the molded high speed steel marking faces the drill. Push the supporting legs into the high speed steel slots on the carriage until they click into position. Flip the drill setter down to touch the grinding wheel. Hold it lightly in position against the grinding wheel and slide the carriage to the left until it clicks into position. Select the collet that fits the drill bit. The larger collet is the proper size for the 3 8 bit. Tilt the current holder to the right, resetting it on the upright part of the carriage. Insert the bit into the drill turret. Then turn the nut until the bit is loose fit and centered in the collet. Insert the turret into the holder without the bit in it with either rib fitted into the slot. Push down fully. Now insert the bit into the turret and push it down firmly to contact the drill setter and the wheel. Twist the bit counterclockwise. It will lift slightly and then it will drop down into position. Press the bit down towards the wheel and turn it clockwise until a stop is felt. Hold the bit in this position with one hand and tighten the nut with the other. Other. Remove the turret from the holder and check that the drill bit cutting edges are parallel with the turret nose index marks. When the alignment is correct, slide the carriage to the right and flip the setter up. Replace the turret in the bit in the holder so one of the ribs fits down into the wide slot marked HSS with the bit fully over the left hand wheel. Switch on the drill. Pressing the red cam on the drill turret against the upright part of the carriage, slowly and evenly rotate the turret from one end of the slot to the other end about 10 times. Continue until you hear that the sharpening is stopped. Remove the turret and turn it 180 degrees and repeat the process. When the drill is in use, run the drill at full speed but no more than 3000 RPM in a clockwise direction. And the Multi-Sharp 2001 is a lot faster, sharpening the bit in very close to a minute. And the drill bit looks very sharp and the overall geometry looks a lot better than the drill bit sharpened by the day pin. And the very affordable Multi Sharp 2001 is making very quick work of the half inch mild steel. 16.6 seconds is only one tenth of a second slower than the new bit. And the Multi Sharp 2001 makes a pretty clean cut. A close look under the microscope and the leading edge experienced a small amount of wear and tear. At a price of $35, is this Trooper brand? 3 to 13 millimeters or 1 eighth to 1 half inch. Works with 118 degree drill bits. It claims to have a powerful 100 watt electric motor. The Trooper is made in China. And the Trooper weighs 1,122 grams. Turn the knob counterclockwise towards the down direction to set the stone in the lower position. Insert the bit into the hole corresponding to its diameter. 
Inside each hole, there are two guides so that the cutting edge of the bit is aligned with the edge of the stone. Slightly rotate the drill bit inside the hole until it fits or drops down into the guide. Power up the sharpener. Once the sharpener has reached maximum RPM, turn the knob clockwise while holding the bit until you hear a grinding sound. Hold the bit firmly while making contact with the stone for about 10 seconds. Remove the bit and turn it 180 degrees. Insert the bit again for 10 more seconds to sharpen the second edge. And it's taken a total of very close to 25 seconds to sharpen both sides of the bit. A close look under the microscope and there's more work that needs to be done. And the sharpener just isn't working nearly as fast as the multi-sharp. And the trooper needed another minute and a half to grind away all the damaged area from the drill bit. All of the damaged material has been removed and the drill bit looks nice and sharp. And the trooper is shredding the half inch mild steel and large chips are accumulating quickly. And the trooper is a lot faster than the new drill bit in the Multi-Sharp 2001 at only 9.5 seconds. And the trooper cuts fast but doesn't make as clean of a cut as the Multi-Sharp. And the leading edge of the drill bit seems to have held up a little bit better than the Multi-Sharp but there's a small amount of damage. At a price of $40 is this limbing electric drill bit sharpener. Sharpens twist drill bit sizes 3 to 12 millimeters. The marketing material says it is equipped with humanized console. It claims to be easy to operate. The lemming is made in China. And the lemming weighs 1,028 grams. Fully lower the grinding stone by turning the rotary switch counterclockwise until it stops rotating. Insert the drill bit into the appropriate drill guide. Turn the twist drill bit clockwise until you notice that the drill bit is engaged. Power up the drill bit sharpener. Turn the rotary knob clockwise until you hear the sharpener grinding the drill bit. I'll go ahead and sharpen one side for about 10 seconds. Slightly pull the twist drill bit up and turn it 180 degrees horizontally and insert it again to make contact with the grinding stone. Repeat the process until both cutting edges are sharp. After a minute and a half of sharpening the drill bit with the lemming, there's still some damaged material that needs to be removed. And the lemming went to work on the drill bit for about another minute. And now the drill bit looks nice and sharp. And the lemming drill bit sharpen twist drill is making very quick work of the half inch mild steel. So 12.55 seconds is good enough to move into second place behind the trooper. And the lemming bit became stuck as it was breaking through. And the lemming drill bit sharpener definitely makes a lot smoother cut than the trooper. At a price of $40 or just $1 more, Lemming also makes a multifunctional sharpener. Sharpens drill bits 3 to 13 millimeters. The motor is rated for 96 watts or 1,350 RPM. One sharpener with three different sharpening attachments. Three attachments include the drill bit sharpener, the chisel and plane sharpener, and then the knife and scissor sharpener. The Lemming is made in China, and the Lemming multi-purpose sharpener weighs 1,004 grams. Slide the high-speed drill sharpener attachment onto the power unit. Remove the clamp from the clamp holder and insert the drill bit. Rotate the drill bit clockwise and tighten the clamp just a little so that the drill bit can still move freely. Place the clamp containing the drill bit into the setting slot. Use the grooves in the side to lower it in correctly. Move the drill bit forward and up so that it lays in the V-guide and touches the metal end stop. Turn the drill bit until the V-guide fully drops over it. All four drill bit corners should now be touching the V-guide sides. Ensure that the drill and holder are fully down in the setting slot. With the drill bit in this position, tighten the clamp ring in the clockwise direction. Lift up the V-guide and remove the clamp and drill bit. Transfer the clamp and drill bit into the clamp holder. Power up the sharpener. Move the clamp from side to side as indicated by the arrow on the sharpener. Remove the drill bit and clamp and turn over. Move the clamp from side to side as indicated by the arrow on the sharpener. After about 45 seconds, the Lemming Multifunctional Sharpener is doing a great job, but there's a lot more work to be done. After very close to another minute of sharpening the drill bit, the Lemming is making a lot of progress. However, there's still a small amount of damage to the leading edge of the flutes. I'll go ahead and reposition the twist drill bit in the holder just to make sure the proper bit tip geometry is maintained. And the Lemming needed about another 40 seconds for a total actual sharpening time of almost two and a half minutes to finish the sharpening process. And the overall geometry in the leading edge of the flutes looks nice and sharp. Just like the Lemming drill bit sharpener, the Lemming Multifunctional Sharper is making very quick progress drilling through the steel. And the Lemming Multifunctional Sharper is almost as fast as the Lemming drill bit sharpener at 12.9 seconds. And the holes formed by both the Lemming sharpening systems look almost identical. And the drill bit held up very well with a very small amount of visible wear. At a price of $50 is this Goodman brand. It claims to have a 70 watt motor. Sharpens drill bit sizes 1 8 to 25 64 or 3 to 10 millimeters. The Goodman is made in China. The Goodman weighs 936 grams. Fully lower the sharpening stone as far as it'll go. To do this, turn the rotary dial counterclockwise. Insert the drill bit into the smallest suitable drill guide on the drill sharpener. Power up the sharpener. Turn the rotary dial clockwise until you hear a grinding noise. Turn the drill bit under slight pressure loosely and quickly to and fro between left and right stops about 10 times. Pull the drill bit out and turn it 180 degrees and insert it until it meets the sharpening stone. Repeat this process until both cutting edges on the drill are sharp. And the goodsman seems to be a lot slower than the trooper and the lemming sharpeners. Even after almost a minute, there's a lot more work that needs to be done. And I continue to sharpen the drill bit for just over a total of 3 minutes and 20 seconds. And the drill bit now looks ready for action. And a goodsman may take a while to sharpen the drill bit, but once it's sharpened, it works very fast. And a goodsman bit is finished in only 9.7 seconds, which is only 2 tenths of a second slower than the trooper. And a goodsman cuts fast.
fast, but the hole isn't as smooth as some of the other brands. There is a small chip in the leading edge of the drill bit. At a price of $150 is this Drill Doctor 750X. For high-speed steel, masonry, carbide, cobalt, and tin-coated drill bits. Angles 115 to 140 degrees. It sharpens very small drill bits at 330 seconds all the way up to 3 quarter inch. It's even designed to make split-point drill bits. The Drill Doctor is made in USA. And the Drill Doctor is the heaviest yet at 1,392 grams. Insert the drill bit into the chuck and close the jaws just to the point where the drill bit slides in and out. Insert one of the alignment guides on the chuck into the 118 degree notch on the alignment port. Press the alignment port down so that it opens the bit clamp arm. Now release the alignment button, releasing the clamp arms. Adjust the bit position. Turning it inwards will result in taking less metal. Backing it out will make a more aggressive cut. Since the drill bit is badly damaged, I'll twist it all the way out for a more aggressive cut. Check to make sure that the bit is held in place correctly. The clamp arm should be holding the drill bit at the narrow spot. If it's not, turn the bit slightly until it falls into the flutes. Lightly tighten the chuck. Hold onto the chuck and tighten the chuck knob until it's snug. This little window shows a drilling angle and now you're ready to sharpen the drill bit. Keep the chuck in contact with the cam pin at all times as you sharpen. Only light pressure is required. You'll hear a grinding noise as you complete each half turn and each side of the bit faces ground. The sharpening port will rock as you rotate the chuck. Continue this process until you no longer hear a grinding noise. And the drill doctor is done doctoring the drill bit in 30 seconds and the drill bit looks nice and sharp. And the drill doctor sharpened the bit at 118 degrees and it's not cutting nearly as fast as the trooper or the goodsman. However, the Drill Doctor is still faster than a new bit at 14.7 seconds. And the hole left by the Drill Doctor is smoother than most of the other brands. And the leading edge of the Drill Doctor sharpened bit is still in very good condition. At a price of $350, the most expensive sharpening system we'll be testing is made by Priasan. Sharpens drill bit sizes 3 to 13 millimeters. Sharpens twist drill bits from 100 to 135 degrees. It's also an end mill sharpener with 11 collets. They claim the electric motor spins at 4,800 RPM. The Priusan is made in China. And a Priusan is more than five times as heavy as a competition at 8,146 grams. Determine the size of the drill bit and select the proper collet and collet chuck. Place the collet in the collet chuck by approaching with a 45 degree angle and tighten the chuck slightly. Insert the drill bit into the collet chuck and tighten the collet nut slightly. Aligning the drill bit. Reset the scale ring. Turn the scale clockwise all the way and then turn counterclockwise to the width of the bit. Insert the chuck into the web adjustment shelf and then connect it tightly. Push the drill to the end and turn clockwise as far as it'll go. Turn a chuck set clockwise as far as it'll go and tighten the chuck. Turn a chuck set counterclockwise slightly and remove the chuck set. The drill bit web should be parallel to the chuck. Power up the sharpener. Place the chuck set into the point angle grinding port. Insert the drill bit gently into the grinding port until it reaches the grinding wheel. Grind the drill bit by moving it clockwise and counterclockwise until the grinding sound disappears. Repeat the process for the other side of the drill bit. And the Priusan did not move enough material on the first attempt, so I had to repeat the setup and sharpening process twice. However, the Priusan is very fast at removing material and sharpen the drill bit in only 24 seconds. And the Priusan sharpened drill bit looks very good under the microscope, but the twist drill just isn't cutting very quickly. And the Priusan is finished in 19 seconds and needed about twice as much time as the trooper. However, the Priusan made the smoothest hole and the drill bit still looks very sharp with no visible damage or wear and tear. Let's go ahead and convert a brand new 118 degree drill bit into a split point 135 degree using the drill doctor first. To form the 135 degree properly, we need to insert the alignment guide one mark to the right of the 118 degree mark. And the rest of the process for positioning the drill bit within the chuck is the same as before. Let's go ahead and change the drilling angle to 135 degrees. Now that we reshaped the drill bit tip, let's cut the relief to form a split point. We'll go ahead and align the mark on the chuck with the mark on the sharpener and press the chuck inward. Let's rotate the chuck 180 degrees to form the other side of the bit. Forming the split point added about a minute to the sharpening process. So let's see if it's worth the extra effort. And the Drill Doctor's 135 degree split point is cutting through the half inch steel like a hot knife through butter. And 7.9 seconds is the fastest time yet. Very impressive. And the hole looks just as smooth as the Drill Doctor's 118 degree drill bit. And the Drill Doctor's 135 degree split point held up very well. Let's go ahead and form a 135 degree split point with the Priusan. The first step in the process is the same as before. I'll adjust the point angle port to 135 degrees. And the Priusan only removes a small amount of metal from the drill bit at once. So I had to reposition the drill bit a couple of times within the chuck to finally grind enough material away to form a 135 degree tip. I found that cutting the relief adds about 30 seconds to the process, which is about twice as fast as the drill doctor. And the drill bit looks very impressive, but will it cut quickly? And forming a split point with the Priusan seems to be very well worth the extra 30 seconds of effort. And the Priusan is cutting quite a bit faster at 13.4 seconds. Once again, the Priusan made a much cleaner hole than the Drill Doctor and the other brands. And the drill bit is still in very good condition. Not including the time it takes to set the sharpeners, the Priusan is the fastest to sharpening in 24 seconds. Drill Doctor is almost as fast at 30 seconds. Adding a split point to the Priusan adds about 30 seconds to the sharpening process. 
So if it's all about drilling speed, the 135 degree sharpened drill doctor bit is the fastest at 7.9 seconds. Trooper finished in second at 9.5 and the Goodsman 9.7 seconds. When it comes to sharp objects, sharpness durability is a huge factor. So let's go ahead and test the drill bits one more time to see how they held up, beginning with the Multi-Sharp 2001. We'll skip the day pin since it gave up on the first attempt. And the Multi-Sharp 2001 drilled the first hole in 16.6 seconds and it lost a little ground this time at 17.8. And the Trooper was the fastest 118 degree sharpened drill bit in the first hole at 9.5 seconds. And the Trooper Sharpened Bit needs 21% longer to drill the hole this time in 11.5 seconds. And the Lemming Drill Bit Sharpener performed well in the first hole at 12.55 seconds. And it lost just over 2 seconds of speed this time at 14.6. The Lemming Multifunctional Sharper made the first hole in 12.9 seconds. It finished a second hole this time in 14.7. And a Goodsman made a very fast cut drilling the first hole in only 9.7 seconds. However, it took almost 30% longer on the second hole at 12.6 seconds. And the Drill Doctor Bit that was sharpened to 118 degrees drilled the first hole in only 14.7 seconds. And a second hole took around 17% more time at 17.2 seconds. And a 118 degree Priyasan sharpened drill bit made the first hole in 19 seconds and performed almost as well this time at 19.7. And the bit sharpened to 135 degrees with a split point by the drill doctor made the first hole in only 7.9 seconds. And the drill doctor is actually two tenths of a second faster this time at 7.7 .7 seconds. Very impressive. And a Priyasan's 135 degree split point drilled the first hole in 13.4 seconds and it too is also faster this time at 12.4. On the second hole, the split point 135 degree drill doctor sharpened bit is still the fastest at 7.7 7 seconds. The Trooper is still second at 11.5 and Priyasan 135 degree finished in third at 12.4 seconds. Another way to look at performance is to compare drill bit durability and loss of performance. And the Priyasan and Drill Doctor 135 degree bits were actually faster making a second hole than the first. Looking at just 118 degree bits, the Priyasan slowed by only 3.7% on the second hole and the Multi Sharp slowed by only 7.2%. So which sharpener is the best? The sharpeners are organized from least expensive to most expensive. Considering just drill bit sharpening performance, the Drill Doctor came out on top with the 135 degree split point. The Drill Doctor 135 degree split point also demonstrated excellent durability on the second hole. As far as drill bit size, it offers the most range up to three quarters of an inch. However, at $150, the Drill Doctor is very expensive and some of the less expensive options will perform very well. Some of the sharpeners are multifunctional sharpeners, so hopefully you'll find this chart helpful. A big thank you to everyone that requested a review on drill bit sharpeners and hopefully you found this review helpful. Speaking of that, all the videos in this channel are viewer suggested, so if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching, please take care, and I look forward to next time.